F. And then towards your MX, it will be on the 10th of March. You have 88 days. Okay, not many days left. Right? So please make sure you do your... Uh, you must have a very strong self uh, motivation. That's what I can say, I can tell you. Okay, for today's lot, okay, we are going to uh, the objective pembelajaran. Murid berjaya mengenal pasti kesilapan dibuat di set uh, 10. And then I'm going to do set 9 as well. Dan membuat pembetulan. After discussion, I do hope that you do your uh, correction. And then yang kedua, murid boleh menjawab item kertas dua dengan lebih yakin. Or your kertas satu or dua lah in your SPM. Okay. The activity, as I told you, we are going to bincang the jawapan for set 9 dan set 10. And then after that, we are uh, continue to the uh, another topic, which is taburan ke berangkalian, our normal distribution. And then the part situ, work okay so today lesson will be a uh, one and a half hour so you do your work when you are free so time for you to turn in the latest just need time to um to mark do you get me please respond to me a bit you boleh nampak slide okay dah Okay, you pin yes. You need to pin it. Cikgu ada dua account. Uh, how, how hard, what do you mean by cikgu ada dua account? Oh, oh yes, yes. The one with the mic that moving is the one that I talk. Right? So which one that you want to pin? The one with the mic that moving. The volume. Okay, now, kita akan masuk perbincangan latihan yang lepas. Okay? Before we start, okay, I would like to pro, uh, prompt something to you that the only guy I have to beat is the guy I was last week. Okay, if last week you turn in your work late, please make it earlier this week. If you never do your work last week, please get it done this week. Okay, if you never do your correction last week, Please get it done this week as well. Right? This is what we say. When you want to beat, you don't beat with other people. You don't compare yourself with other people. You compare yourself. You compare your yesterdays. Okay? The guy that was yesterday of your own. Right? So I do hope that you understand my message. Okay, now let's start with the set some design. So get ready your paper. Do you have your set similar with you? Okay, I'll give you five seconds for you to go and search for your paper. Count down for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, get ready your set sembilan. So we are going to see, this is, is this set sembilan? Uh, this is cos set tangent. Hey, this is the proving, this is set lapan. This is set lapan. Oh, I took the wrong set. Am I right? This is set lapan. Hold on first. Because I also confused already. Okay, this is set lapan. Then I need to go back. Oh, this is set lapan. Okay, this is set lapan. Okay, set lapan. This is the set lapan that we give a uh, token to you. Right? So I'm going to skip this one because I took the wrong slide. Okay, now we go on to the slide 10 first. Later, I'll go for the slide, slide 9. So we go to uh, the ten, set 10. Okay, set 10, I would like to pinpoint a few things for you. So now set 10, this, the, I, I, I post you the whole working for it so that you can see at one shot. Okay, so for the uh, question given to you in set 10, this is set 10. Set 10. Okay, the question given to you, let me show you some of your problem that you face. Okay, 2 theta plus 90. Some of you, you start your working from the left. Okay, as I said, I, many of you have improved. You have this term. But unfortunately, when you 
when you start to do this question, what you what you did was you expand. You write it as sine to theta, then you expand plus sine ninety, which is I can say that this is wrong because sine here this is trigo function. Sine here is not the common factor not the common factor so you are not allowed to expand in this way right so how do you expand follow the identity okay follow the identity okay please respond to me a bit can you hear me Okay, flip open to the formula page. In the class the other day, I did tell you about the uh, hexagon. Still remember the hexagon? Guys, please respond to me in the chat box. You still remember the hexagon? So for the sign, this is for this one that you want to expand. Okay, you want to expand this one. So you follow the identity, okay? Sign the bracket of uh, 2 theta plus 90. It will be written as sine 2 theta cos 90 plus, because sine we follow, plus cos 2 theta sine 90. Okay, Vignesh, are you there, Vignesh? Vignesh, are you there? Finish. First of all, can you hear me? Yes. I boleh dengar pun kan? Dengar kan? Kenapa finish tak balas eh? Because di, ada kesilapan yang dia buat. Dalam formula, dia give me this one. Okay, finish. you pay attention here. Your problem is here. The sign of this. You give me plus minus. Okay? You give me plus minus which is wrong. Right? The plus minus, what does it mean by plus minus? If the formula given, because they, they want to save the space. That's why they give the plus minus together. Okay, so then if this is plus, means that they follow plus. If this is minus, then here will be minus. This is what it meant. Two in one, the formula. Please take note. Okay, and then, and then another thing is that many of you, okay, I'm going to erase this one. Many of, uh, not, not to say many, some of you, okay, you never show this working. You never show this. Okay, this is very important to, to indicate that you understand cos 90 degree, it is of zero, and sine 90 degree, it is of one. Okay, some of you, you did uh, this way. Okay, you cancel off this one, you write as zero, you cancel off this one, you write as one. Okay, this one I accept, but some of you, you never indicate the zero and never indicate the one. Remember, this is our paper two uh, question. Paper two, we demand working, right? Then after that, once this is cancelled because zero times two theta, you get zero. So left over this one. So this will be the answer. Fine. Okay, then when you come here, I'm going to explain one question in detail. The rest, I will just touch and go because I don't have to go in detail Every question. Uh, anyhow, it is reputation. Ulangan. Okay, now, cos 2 theta. What is this one? In mathematics, you learn cos theta. Okay, let me give you this one, cos theta. Okay, in MX, you do, you, in mathematics, you learn only one, uh, one circle. Okay, in MX, you learn at And this in mathematics come back. Okay. 
Okay, shift cost 0 0.5. You will get it at 60 degree. Okay, you so the reference demand the ref then when you are here at the other color when you are here check on the sign here this is positive positive means that the cost in what quadrant are positive in quadrant one so this is indicating quadrant one and quadrant four so meaning that the angle here here quadrant So for mathematics, you stop here only. Or mathematics, maybe you stop at 60 because it's on the question asked. Wangan. You add with 360, you will get this. Okay, and similar to the 360 degree. So you go for the second round. One more round, you come back. You will get. It is two theta. Right. Then, question asking you for the theta. Okay, question asking you for the theta. Read for the question. It says theta in between zero. Uh, this is set time two theta. Hmm. Bukika sketch. Hands okay, soft. They ask us soft. Sorry, here they never asked you because of the uh, of theta. Uh, this one and then theta, you bahagikan. Right, that's all. See, one, two, three, four, four marks. Very simple, very easy for you to get the marks. Okay, some of you, you do start with uh, sine 2 theta. You may do this one as well. But I prefer because they ask you to prove. So just follow. This will be the easiest. Okay, now let's continue. Graph. Okay, remember guys, when you are doing your own revision in the class, I did ask you to use Desmos. Okay. In fact, for the diagram here, I use Desmos. You don't from that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mungkin Puan boleh apa, uh, log in, log out balik kot. Sebab memang... Okay, kerja eh. Dengar, you mean uh, my line has reach? Okay. So, mungkin itu again. kot. Sebab memang tadi yang Puan terang yang first tadi apa, yang second eh. Uh, yang pasal road, yang berapa circle tu budak tak dapat uh, ni. I, I can, I can do
Mic. Okay. Now, can you hear me? Uh, buat masa ni sekarang macam uh, better sikit. Okay, because I dah turun ke bawah, I tak berada dekat study room. Oh, Sorry for the line. Hari ni, hmm. I kata pagi tadi memang masa I masuk tu, I pun rasa line hari ni tak stabil. Hmm. Hari ni hari apa? Hari Jumaat. Hmm. Okay, now let's continue. Uh, di mana uh, murid get start tadi ya, eh? tak dia tak dengar? Dari slide pertama tadi. Slide. Slide, slide yang pertama yang tadi yang, yang 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 tadi cakap pasal witness kan lepas ah witness tu okey yang form dia tu nah okey kejap i nak uh, present screen i nak record lupa stop recording okey tak apa dia continue record nanti i kena clock okey i go to back to my powerpoint yang tadi dekat witness is here lah the formula. I need my wire to my laptop. Okay. Okay, so the combination, please take note, the formula. Uh, you are giving me this one plus minus. You are giving me this one plus minus. Here, plus minus, you are wrong. So please take note, if you if you misunderstood that one, please PM me. Okay, now kita dah habis yang ini, then kita continue to the next slide. Okay, uh, this is what I, I was here just now, Desmos. Okay, Desmos eh. Guys, if you are doing this topic, please use Desmos to help you. Okay, now for the per permakahan, because the question is of cost, they ask you to sketch the graph of y equals to 2 cos 2 theta. Okay, let me repeat this one for you. So for the two here, this is the maximum and minimum. This is simple. This question is simple because it doesn't involve modulus. It doesn't involve uh, shifting, right? So kalau soalan ini dalam SPM, make sure you score. And then the second one, this. This is two, uh, two cycle. Okay, two cycle. Okay, what do I mean by two cycle? Then you need to go back to your original. Original Y, okay, I use other color. Please take note, Y equals to cos theta. Okay, this is the graph of uh, theta and this is Y. And many of you never label the X axis and the Y axis. Right, many of you. So for cos, you know that the maximum value for cos is 1, the minimum value is negative 1. So mark here, this is 1, and this is negative 1, where else this will be the origin. So now your graph, how does your graph go? Okay, let's say in order for me to make this one clear. So because I'm writing on the screen, it might not be straight enough. So for the gra graph of cos, so this is maximum, minimum 1. And it is one cycle. What do, what do I mean by one cycle here? Everybody look up here. So the graph of cost will go down here, all the way down, down here, and then go up here. And then it is bounded by two pi. This is what we call one cycle. Okay? Meaning that from here to here, okay, from up to down, okay, and then going up, and this one should be 2 pi. This is what we meant by y equals to cos theta. Okay. The original graph of trigo. Sine, the same thing. When it is sine, so the graph will go from here. Here, go up here, go down. The graph of cosine. Macam mana I look this. Okay, here, go up. Let's see if it is of 2 pi, eh? Kat sini 2 pi. So, dikit ubah, so dikit. Okay, here, here. Uh, this is 2 pi. Uh, this is one, one cycle. Okay, kalau saya nak betulkan yang kat tadi graph uh, cost, it will be like this. Go down, up. This is cycle. So, I repeat this one because quite confused. Okay, now you see this is 2 pi. 
saya nak lukis y equals to cos theta. Okay, I want to draw y equals to cos theta. Okay, how how does my graph go? This is two theta here. Eh? So now you can see in this one, this is two cycle. Kalau a uh, cos one cycle is going up down 90 degree is here then 180 then go up right so this is of one cycle this is what we call one cycle but when the graph given this down up down up to here to down two times or down means that they're dual cycle okay now look into the maximum color original it will be one now you see this two okay meaning that this is positive two this is negative two meaning that for my graph here just now it should be two beginning i do hope that everybody is clear because this is the basic when the basic you get it wrong tak payah tengok the rest okay you laka the graph cos theta because given here the keyword is cos theta the cost so graph betul you get one mark Okay, two cycle. Why two cycle? Because of this. Because of this. Okay. This. Two cycle. So they want to see whether you understand or not. Uh, so then nampak yang ini, so, sekali turun naik, turun naik. So two cycle. Yes, you get one mark. And then after that, they want to check on, do you understand the maximum and the minimum of this? Okay, if you understood this one, then yes, you get one mark. Three marks for the graph, simple. So get practice by using your Desmos, biasakan diri anda dengan melihat graph. Okay, then after that is the solving. Okay, solving. Many of you start uh, doing your work from here. Okay, when you are doing this paper two question, bear in mind that your part two is always, is always, I will say, uh, selalunya lah but not sometimes not 100% selalunya ada kaitan dengan bahagian sebelum itu so the earlier they ask you to prove that sine uh, 2 theta plus 90 equals to cos 2 theta so you sub what are we doing? we are doing the substitution sub so when you are here sub the graph given to this as this and uh, now you have problem in this Okay, please pay attention how this is done. Okay, many of you still having problem. Okay, not sub the Y. Okay. Now, how am I going to get it done? Look into the question carefully. You have you are now in cos theta, cos dual theta. But the equation given to here, given to you here is y equals to dual cos theta. Okay, y equals to two cos theta. Now you see this cos. 2 theta. This cos 2 theta and this cos 2 theta, they are the same fella. So what do you do? You now, you make from the graph here, cos 2 theta equals to y over 2. You make cos 2 theta as the subject. Then you sub. You sub your cos 2 theta with y over 2. Then you are safe. Okay, step by step, you do. Because remember of each mark, 1.5 minutes is allocated for you to do. Don't skip your step. Then from here, what do you do? You see the Y, remember our subject is always with the coefficient 1. You don't want the over 2 to be there. So what do you do? As what your basic knowledge tell you, times everything with uh, 2. Okay, times everything with 2. So when you times everything with 2, you will get y equals to 2 minus 2 theta over pi. See, now you get yourself one mark here. Okay, one mark here is easily for you to obtain. Okay, so this is clear. Then we come back. Once this is done, the question, what did, what did the question say? Okay, some of you, you did not draw the line. The question says here, hence using the same exists. Sketch a suitable straight line to find. Sketch a 
if it asks you to draw sketch line means draw means that you need the table value but when they sketch you need only two coordinates or three will be good enough that's why there's the difference between sketch and draw draw is just like you do your graph function under mathematics there's a table x equals to zero x equals to one two three four then you sub uh, that is drawing but sketching you need two points will be good enough for our math and max so now what do you do okay once you're here many of you you are still fail in getting the straight line correct okay uh, let me uh recap what should you do okay i need because ask me to sketch i have i've i was taught before i need minimum two points to sketch a straight line so i label this one as theta this one as y so as my theta look into here look into the question here so first of all i will say that my theta is zero why because my information telling me when zero divided by everything is zero so this is two so my first coordinate is already there zero two okay i already plot my first coordinate then you go for the second coordinate so now when you go to the second coordinate refer to the equation one more time now the equation is two theta over pi if i could make my theta as pi okay as pi so it will be 2 pi divided by, it will be 2 pi, 2 pi divided by pi. So pi and pi cancel. So you have 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2, I get 0. So pi, 0 here. Then straight away, you draw the line. Okay? So from here until here, when you draw the line in the graph, correct, that you can see one mark is given. Unfortunately, Okay, I would like to uh, tell you what are the problems that you face. Unfortunately, some of you, um, you get your, because of your scale given is not uniform. Uh, one, more, one more problem that you face. Okay, it's not uniform. Then you may ask me, teacher, what do you mean by not uniform? When you look into the graph that in front of you, it is very nice and neat. Okay, some of you, your graph, yes, you end up by 2 pi. But what happened to your graph? Your graph go this way. Your graph go this way. This is very small. Tiba-tiba very big like that. Ah. So when this thing happened, you lost your mark. Okay, you're going to lose your mark in here because it is not uniform. Remember, in our MX, we go for systematic, clear, and it must be uh, fair enough. Okay? So, if let's say you're 45 degree. Okay? If you're 60 degree. Okay, this is your 60 degree. This is and the second 60. This is the third 60. So, you can see that almost the same length. But this is by Desmos, it's for sure the same length, lah, right? Okay, for this, you get, just because it is not uniform there, some of you, you use a uh, coordinate, which is, uh, how do I say, you use 2 pi or something like that. Then your graph did not cross here. Your graph crossed something like that. Or your graph crossed something like that. Because you use other point. Okay, when I don't see this one, there are a few things that we check. We check on this one, we check on this one, and one more we check on this one. Okay, there are three points for us to check to make sure that you draw the line correctly. Please bear in mind, take note. And then bilangan penyelesaian. Okay, how many numbers of solution? It will be five. Why five? Because at this spot, it is two. Okay. Just because of we are doing the sketching, then we did not realize. Then you may ask me, teacher, how do you know that it is two? And then you have to check. Okay, you have to check by me. Maybe using cos. Uh, maybe you use one degree. What is the value of? What is the intersecting lah? I will say what is the value of y. Then you try on cos five degree. 
what is the value of y. See whether you have exit the line or not, the graph. Okay, you check on the graph by using this. You check on the curve and then you check on the straight line as well. Okay, this is how you check. Because if some questions are very easy, you are going to save time to do your checking on this. Okay, this is question B. At one, sorry. Then let's go to question two. Okay, question two. You start with your left hand side. Again, left hand side. Okay, second A. Second A follow the hexagon that I gave you the other day is one over cos. One over cos. You get this one, one mark. Okay, some of you, you start with tangent 2A. Some of you, you did start with tangent 2A, follow the identity and divide. You may compare your answer by using tangent 2A compared with the one of this. Right? So now, what is the next step? So first step is that you sub, you sub the second A with the identity. All right? Secondly, what do you, what happened here? You make the denominator the same and you get it multiplied. Two steps in here, killing two birds with one stone. If you cannot, then okay, fine. If you are not capable in doing this, fine. Take out this one. You will be signed to A as the numerator, penyebut dia, bahagi dengan dua cos kuasa dua A tolak satu bahagi dengan cos A. Okay, yang ini sama dengan, barulah dia sama dengan 2 sin A darab dengan terbalikkan dia punya penyebut. Kenapa terbalikkan? Because dia bahagi sekarang nak jadikan dia darab. So you can see that this thing is the same as this. Okay, kalau tak mampu tunjukkan jalan kerja ini, they only come here. See, tak ada markah. This is all the process sahaja. Okay, I take away all this. Now, this one is one mark, identity. From here to here, tak ada markah. Why marks are not given? Because it's the basic knowledge. Okay, then you teruskan lagi. Okay, so now here, 2 sin A, the penyebut, pengangka darab dengan pengangka, you get this one. 1 times 2 cos. Okay, ini dia. This is another identity. You keluarkan identity given here. Meaning that you want to do this proving your identities. Okay, you kena kuasai. If you don't master your identities, then you will not be able to solve. So, marka di sini satu, marka di sini satu for here to here. Or it might be from here to here. Because memang ada uh, ruangan that you can get marks. As long as you tak berhenti cuba. Right? Okay, now next. This is the graph. Tangent graph. Right? This is also done by Desmos. Okay? Because of pi. Oh, just now I lupa tentang yang dua cycle. I uh, forgotten to... Elaborate on that. Okay, tangent. Okay, maybe this one. Wait, ah, bagi saya sedikit masa. I take away this one. This is X. Katakan X lah and this is Y. Okay, this is 90 degree. This is 180, 270 and this is 360. So for your graph of tangent, okay, start from here, zero. So it go all the way up here, tak touch. Then from here to here. This is what we call one cycle. Okay, untuk uh, one period. Okay, pi. Tangent dia continue lagi. The tangent dia continue lagi. I use this color. Satu and dua. Dua pi. Tangent has two period. Dia akan buat dua pusingan. Okay, dua kitaran. So from here, they go to infinite. Then dari bawah dia naik semula kat sini. Okay, then satu lagi kitaran. Okay, so that's why untuk 2 pi, this is the original graph for y equals to tangent theta. Okay, when it says tangent 2 theta, 
What does it mean? Daripada empat, dia akan gandakan dua, dia akan jadi lapan. Okay, dia akan jadi lapan. So, how do I do this one lapan? Okay, bagaimana saya nak pastikan yang kerja saya uh, adalah betul? Uh, so, you kena main sedikit tricks dekat sini lah. So, I take away my this one first. I'll take away my two pi. I take away my pi. Okay, I take away my graph. Okay, yang ini semua I keluarkan lah. Okay, make it easy. So, what am I going to do? I dah tahu basic graph of tangent. Now, I nak lukis tangent 2, uh, tangent 2 theta. So, what I do? I akan buat sekali. So, this is the line. Okay, sekali. Naik, this is the line. Okay, sekali. Sekali, naik. And then, lepas tu, sekali naik. Sekali, dua kali, tiga kali, sekali naik. Then, this is dua pi. So, you can see that dia ada satu, dua, tiga, empat. This is one side. This one will be pi. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. This is two pi. So, dia memang beza daripada original. Right? Okay, so then after that, then kita dah tahu kita punya in until 2 pi, kita balik pada sini, this is x, this, sorry, this is a and this is y. Okay, I have here, I have here, I have here, I have here. Okay, now my graph will be this. I dah tahu 2 pi, just now I know that my 2 pi, I should have 8. Now, sekarang soalan ini dia kata 2, uh, untuk pi, I should have 4. Because dia soalan dia kata bounded. Okay, the pi, the A, the A yang diberi A should be in between 0 and pi. Okay, I highlight this one. Dia ada 4. So, 4, this is 1. Okay, dia ada 4. 1, 2 sini. Dah sampai kat sini ialah pi. Kalau biasa, this one will be 2 pi. Okay, kalau biasa, this is 2 pi. Okay, tapi sekarang dia dah jadi pi because of dia gandakan. Okay, now I have settled my tangent 2A. Sekarang masuk my modulus. Okay, modulus this part di Pantul balik dekat paksi X. That's why you dapat graf garisan warna purple yang ditunjukkan. Okay. So this is how you draw your graph. So when this is done, graph tangent correctly drawn. Nak tengok dia punya graph tangent. Okay, some of you, your graph tangent memang cantik. You are so worried that you will touch the line. So what do you do? You bought begini. Far away from the line. From this red line. Okay, maybe I gunakan bahagian sini. Your graph is here. Okay, I gunakan warna biru lah. Okay, your graph is like this. You takut touching this part. So what you do, you bought begini. Which is very far away. Far away means tak boleh diterima. This one cannot be accepted. Okay, some of you, please take note eh. Manalah tahu tahun ini dia keluarkan graf tangent pula. Some of you, your graf, dia melengkung too fast. Then you naik begini. This part also salah. Okay. You check on the tangent 10 degree, tangent 20 degree, tangent 30 degree, tangent 40 degree, Dan seterusnya hingga ke tangent 90 degree. You want to check. You belajar science kan? You nak tahu pergerakan dia when you alias dia dengan uh, paksi Y. Ada tak dia jauh beza? Okay. Yang mana jauh beza berlaku? So it's after a certain period. Okay. Yang ni dia nampak tiba-tiba dia akan menegak ke atas. But not touching. Okay. Please take note on that. Graph tangent betul? Tak kisah, now I'm not looking into the 
uh, cycle, I'm not, I'm not go looking into the maximum, minimum, I'm not looking into the modulus. I look into the tangent. Is your starting point here when it is zero? Uh, bear in mind. If let's say I'm not test you for this year, I will not start my graph with zero. I will say that bounded with this. Okay, I will say I want it to be the second part, but not the first part, not this part. So what you do in exam to handle this one, don't stress yourself by starting with pi. You still start sketching your graph from zero degree, okay, or zero radian. Once, the, once you have sketched until 2 pi, you remove the earlier part that you do not want. That is the trick behind it, right? So, pas tu saya uh, keluarkan yang ini. Now, graph tangent, we want to see whether is it start from here or you punya graph go this way. Uh, don't, jangan, jangan terkejut. Ada murid buat begini, ada calon SPM buat begini, ada juga buat begini terbalik. Ha, because they thought reflect on itself. I tak tahulah apa yang berlaku dia buat begini punya graph. Panic good ha, dalam exam. So the whole thing wrong already lah. Mana ada tangent zero degree defined as infinite. So salah. So then salah when this thing is salah, the whole thing here semua zero. Rugi. Okay? okay so please bear in mind. Where is the starting point for graph of sine theta for cos as well as for tangent? Itu penting. This mark you must gain first. Mesti dapat dahulu before I check on this. Okay, when this graph is wrong, kalau ini dah kosong, so the rest automatic hilang markah. Tak payah saya nak semak. Okay, then we go to the modulus. Modulus as you know, in function also we learn semua yang berada di bawah paksi y akan direfleksikan dipantulkan pada paksi x kepada nilai y positif so the graph actually for this one it should be like that okay it should be like that and like that so then warna biru ini dipantulkan warna biru ini dipantulkan that's why you get this graph okay i do hope that you are clear on this Okay, do you have any question that you want to ask? You may uh, chat, you may tag, uh, type in. Kalau tak smooth pun hilang mak ke cikgu. Yes, Daniel, yes. Okay, tak bulat. Okay. So, is the line clear now? So, ingat eh, Daniel, kalau line tak smooth pun akan hilang markah. So, what you do uh, from now to your SPM, you still have 80 odd days. Okay, cukup untuk you belajar lakar guna, uh, gunakan pencil dengan licin. Alright, so please make sure that you do your practice. Okay, please respond to me someone in the chat box so that I, nam I boleh tahu yang you boleh dengar saya dengan jelas. Okay, then the next. Ah, okay, the next pun sama. So what happened here, dia bagi modulus. 2 sin A over 2 cos A minus secant. Tadi dia suruh kita prove the earlier part, ask us to prove that this is equal to tangent 2A. Kita dah prove. So, ini akan diganti dengan tangent 2A. And tangent 2A in the, for the graph, for the graph yang dia suruh kita sketch adalah tangent, okay, dekat sini. I ambil yang ini teruslah. Okay. Yang dah bagi graph, dia suruh kita buat yang ini. Ha. Huh. Terus kita gantikan dia dengan Y. Terus ganti dengan Y. Ganti ini. So then you are here. Okay, when you are here, remember, as I told you much earlier, the graph in question number one, you dah dapat ini betul, satu markah. Then transfer this one into uh, a straight line in the graph. Okay, sketch. Sekali lagi, I ulang. Kalau tadi you tercicir ataupun the line was not good, so this is your A, or it might be X lah, or might be theta, and this is your Y. So refer to the equation given. Okay, equation given. So first of all, I jadikan zero. Because of what? Zero divided by anything is zero. So I get my nilai zero, one. Zero, one is plot, plotted in the graph. Zero, one is plotted in the graph. Then you go for another point. So another point apa yang you nak pilih? 
Okay lah, you nak pilih A as pi because you nak mansukan pi because we do not know the value of pi here or kita malas nak ganti 3.142. Okay, when this is pi, y equals to 1 plus 2 times pi divided by pi. So you get y equals to 3. So 3. When it's pi, then it's 3. Ha, dekat sini, cikgu dah tertutup dekat sini. Pi 3. 3, nampak tak? 3. Okay, then you draw the straight line. Okay, by drawing a straight line, ada seorang murid eh, yang masa cikgu menanda paper anda, mata dah tertara ada empat persilangan. Tetapi jawapan dia, dia tulis nima. I tak tahu kenapa. What happened to you? Okay, please check your work. Siapa yang saya maksudkan? So the same thing, satu markah untuk equation, satu markah untuk line dekat graph dan satu markah untuk jawapan bilangan penyelesaian. So, habis. Boleh tak? Anyone, can you respond to me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So, get your paper with you. So, ingat eh, setiap kali when teacher return the paper, the work to you, you ambil penandaan cikgu, transfer ke atas paper anda. So, when during the discussion, baru you boleh nampak. Or else you may say, teacher, my work is in Google class. Now, I am using me, so I tak boleh tengok dua benda at one time. And memang. So, that's why cikgu pulangkan kerja to you much earlier. So, you tengok penandaan cikgu, transfer permakaan itu ke atas kertas anda. Dan kalau boleh, terus buat pembetulan. Okay, that is the only way to help you. Because uh, saya berpandangan eh, uh, it shouldn't be any failure for MX or mathematics or any subject this year. Okay, uh, kerana kamu cukup masa untuk buat uh, pembelajaran. Uh, cuma bagi mereka yang tak join the class. Uh, itu yang cikgu risau sedikit lah. Kalau kamu adalah kawan-kawan kepada mereka yang tak suka classmate, Pujuk-pujuk mereka lah. Kalau tidak, nanti mereka uh, yang akan membawa result yang tak bagus dekat sekolah. Okay, kita nak menyumbang okay, uh, tenaga kita, sumbangan kita ke sekolah lah dengan menaikkan uh, keputusan sekolah. Okay, uh, this is one work. Uh, ini yang uh, cikgu tunjukkan kerja anak murid. See, very clear. See, dia tunjuk kat sini. Dia kata, this is cancelled. This is being cancelled. Very good. So, very neat and tidy. Left hand side ada that improve very good and proven very good. So from the previous penandaan cikgu dah make note, you improve. Uh, this is what we want to see. And then see here, uh, this is another way of uh, uh, working. By right from here dah boleh selesaikan but dia teruskan lagi, dia bagi identity, dia cari plus minus, dia cari in. Can, no problem. Cuma time consume di sini. Okay, kehilangan masa kat sini lah. But if you are good, go ahead. Apa yang you nampak masa exam, jangan rasa I want a shorter cut. I want to short. I want a shorter method. Okay, I want shortcut. But masa itu otak anda tak boleh berfungsi untuk shortcut method. Yang you can see this way, jangan buang masa terus penulisan anda. Okay, ah uh, this is ah uh, yang cikgu tanda kat sini the graph. Ah uh, see what when I come in, I check. I will check this. Cikgu guna warna line. Okay, I'll check this. I will check this. I will check this. Okay, line dapat markah, equation dapat markah. Okay, when I tick here, this means the graph is correct. The graph cost is correct. Okay, when I tick here, means that dia ada dua pusingan. Okay, when I tick here, okay means that dia adalah maximum minimum. So that is how I indicate my work. Supaya semua dia sama. So di sini salah is cut here sahaja, rugi satu markah. So I can't remember who is this uh, work that I cropped, but you, I think that you can recognize your own handwriting. So remember, when you are doing this topic, please call up, uh, yes, Desmos lah, Eja nama pun salah. Please call out your dear friend Desmos to help you. Okay, just key in this equation, just key in this equation. Desmos will prompt the graph uh, for you. Okay, then it's right in front of your screen. Then you boleh buat uh, you punya checking. Alright, so next continue. Kita pergi ke next one. Okay, this one. See, here di sini ada uh, jawapan dia. 
Okay, di sini ada jawapan dia. Okay, di sini dia buat tangent. This one, dia patah balik. See or not? Dia punya jalan kerja when compare to uh, the one that I show. Fine, it's okay. Tak apa. This is what you see in exam. Okay, you write, continue writing. Finally, you get dapat jawapan juga. Cuma line banyak sikit lah. But just because masa itu, that is terlintas dalam otak anda, tulis tak apa. Okay, yang penting masa tu, the, all your concepts are correct. Formula use are correct. Right? So, ini graph dia. Okay, so as I told you, ini adalah graph uh, tangent. Dan mark, mark, marka di sini adalah graph tangent. Okay, tangent correctly drawn. Marka di sini reflected. Okay, yang tadi adalah two cycle. And marka di sini adalah dia punya maximum and minimum lah. Okay. Now, so di sini dua cycle. Di sini dua cycle. Okay, bagus. Or reflected kat dua cycle kat sini. It's two in one lah. Okay, then very nice. So, you nampak graph ini cantik. Okay, tiga marka. Remember the this one? The range given is supposed to be in between. Okay, nampak tak ini kawan dah label this one very good. But many of you, when you do your graph, you tak suka label the paksi X and Y. Okay, it might be from lembaga this year, dia kata kalau calon tak label X and Y, graph itu tidak dikira sebagai graph. Ah, Then habis, burn off your marks. Okay, jangan, uh, jangan menyesal eh. If in exam for this year, Kalau you tak buat kerja dengan proper, okay, lembaga, they want to give you marks. Uh, that's why they buat prompt making question lebih senang lah. Tapi all these teeny tiny things yang akan diambil kira bagi permakahan. It might be a lot of consequences. Okay, banyak uh, cabang eh yang akan berlaku. Okay, uh, this one yang masa cikgu dah tanda tu, inilah yang dihantar. Ada 28. Now you see your name. Siapa yang tak hantar ini? Kenapa tak hantar? Jawablah sendiri. Okay, Patricia is the name that I always hear yang tak hantar. Okay, lepas itu Syafika, I jumpa dia hari itu, dia kata dah dah buat. Navin is also another one. Uh, cikgu Yus dengan uh, Cikgu Fa, ada tak anak murid yang selalu tak hantar? Your students. Malisa is also another one. Uh, Janeway, you are online, right? What happened to you? Janeway? Tak jawab. Tak nak jawab. Puan Gan, Ming Zen ada tak Ming Zen? Ming Zen lah. You nampak tak I punya screen yang ada nama? Nampak tapi kejap. Oh, um, Ming Zen ada. ada. Ming Zen tak ada kan? Ah, tak ada, dia hantar. Hmm. Ming Zen, ah, Ayat hantar bagus lah. Ayat hantar, Ayat selalu hantar. Selalu Yap Tengian lah. Selalu jarang hantar. You mean Yap Tengian? Hmm. Yap Tengian ini tak hantar. Oh, yang saya paparkan ini. Hmm. Ah, yang Memang. paparkan ini tak hantar. Ah, siau, siau, siau pun siau tak hantar, hantar rasanya. Siau hantar. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Siapa lagi? Elisha pun tak tak hantar. Elisha, are, on, are, you, are you online now? Elisha. So how? Yang ini, yang this one 28 muridnya macam mana nak bantu dia? Evelyn say you tak nak class because uh, let me, uh, let, berapa kehadiran hari ini? Ramai tak? Yang join. Ini paling tinggi, I check tadi 60 orang. 60 orang. 60. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, guys, listen here. This is what we decide to do with you. Okay. Please text your friend after this. In the school, during the school holiday, I will run class, MX class with you. But there is one condition. I want to check on the attendance of next week okay kalau attendance next week was not good okay kalau attendance next week was not good then uh class tidak akan dijalankan for uh during the holiday okay do you get me so no point that i run the class uh tetapi tak ada pelanggan but for i buka kedai right 
Okay. So use here. Let's continue to this. Okay, sekarang actually kita nak pergi ke jalan kerja. But you give me some time, I nak keluar sekejap, I nak pergi cari I punya set. Tadi I guna set yang salah. It should be on the fourth. But this is Saxon. Oh, I never do my work. Saxon be like I thought about doing. Okay, it should be here. Hmm, this is the question. Can you see the question? Boleh pun kan? Okay, boleh eh? Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, this is the question here. Okay, for this is set sembilan. Yang set sembilan dia ada day yang kita tak buat. Okay, for this, uh, some of you did text me. Tanyakan kenapa uh, the Y, uh, the Q, the value of Q. Okay, the value of Q, the range of Q. <clears throat> By the answer given is Q is less than zero. Now I'm going into set sembilan. Eh? So now we are in set sembilan. This is set sembilan. Okay. So why it is less than Q? Okay, now you look into here. Q is here. First of all, you read this one. Uh, pay attention. Many of you, 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 you masih lagi tidak kuasai bahagian ini. Given sign A equals to 1 over P and cos B equals to negative Q over 2. Where A is an acute angle, A adalah sudut tirus, okay, and B is an obtuse angle, sudut cakar. Okay, this is the maklumat yang diberi. Okay, maklumat yang diberi begini. Okay, cikgu padamkan yang ini. Maklumat yang diberi, I dah tahu, dia kata A, sudut A adalah tirus, acute angle, B adalah sudut cakar, obtuse angle. So, this is obtuse angle. This is acute angle. Acute angle dia jatuh dekat kuadran pertama. Okay, acute angle. So, this is A. Okay, one, I because of three goal, remember as I told you, it must be a right angle triangle. So, for the right angle triangle sign, so untuk three goal sign, it will be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite is 1, hypotenuse is P. Okay, settle this. Then, I go to my B. I go to my B, cos B. Cos B, so I gunakan warna line. Okay, here. This is my B. Cos say that is a day, uh, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, it is negative Q over 2. Hypotenuse is always positive. Okay? And yang boleh negative adalah axis X ini. Because from here to here, if this is positive. From towards the left, it is negative. This is the concept. Okay? I'm not going to talk on this. Eh, saya punya eraser mana? I want to padam this one. Okay, now I come back here. Okay, now, some of you masih lagi tak boleh guna Pythagoras theorem dengan betul. For sudut A, untuk sisi ini, this is square root. Square root apa? The hypotenuse which is P squared 
take away one square. Okay, some of you, you did not get this one right. Where else for uh, sudut B on the, uh, second in the second quadrant? So it should be upper dia, it should be nilai upper. 4, hypotenuse, 2 squared is 4, minus your negative Q squared. So it's minus Q squared. Okay. Uh, mungkin tak nampak. Okay. I lukis semula. Is your 4 minus Q squared. Done. Okay. Some of you, you did not get this one correct. Means that you tak boleh apply your Pythagoras theorem dengan betul. You have problem in this. Okay, fine. Now, it state the, st uh, state the range of Q. Q di mana? Q is here. Remember for this angle, see what am I going to draw here? Q. Sudut B ini. B ini. It can be like that. It can be like that. It can be like that. What am I doing now? I am drawing the congruent triangle. Segi tiga yang congruent. As Q is extending, your hypotenuse also extend. But, sudut B remain. Therefore, the value of Q will be always less than zero. That is the answer. Right? So, this is what, what is this actually this question about? This is about thinking skill. Yang concept dia. Okay, but where you selalu ignore, you always ignore this. You always don't like to do this. Okay, so I take away all this. Now I come back here. Question for part A done. Q is always less than zero. Cosecant B. Cosing B. Question B. Cosecant. What is cosecant? Cosecant B. It is sama dengan 1 over sine B. Very simple. Okay, and what is sine B? 1 over sine B is referred to the diagram with the angle B. So sine B, it will be your square root 4 minus Q squared over 2. And then get the reciprocal, the balikkan dia. You will get the answer. So jawapan dia, jawapan apa? The balikkan dia, you will get it as 2 over this one. Will be good enough. Yang saya teacher perlu tak saya kembangkan nak darab square kan dia. Ah, kalau you nak go ahead lah. But this will be good enough. Right? Now, then after that C. C is cos 2A. Cos 2A. Cos 2A. Cos 2A apa formula dia? So it's 1 minus 2 sin squared A. But you, if you want to use the, the other two, go ahead tak kisah. Cos squared A minus uh, sine squared A. Boleh? Why am I using... Eh, where is my A? Okay. So, uh, why am I using this? Because I perlu guna satu sahaja. Refer from here. And the value is given, sine A. I guna formula itu because this is given to me. So, then I just sum. So, it will be 1 minus 2. Sine A is given to me as 1 over P squared. Okay, selesaikan dia. Okay, I will get my answer as 1 minus 2 P squared. Done. Okay, this is how easy you can make your work. Then you may ask me, teacher, how can I, I, I don't see this one. Kalau you don't see this one, make sure you do lots of practice. Okay, this is question number 2. Question number 2 also, uh, for question number 2, so what do you do here? Then just now, still remember the question that I said, sine 2 theta plus 90. I said, you cannot expand. Cannot expand. Okay, cannot expand. But this one, what can you do? You can expand. Uh, then you sudah pening sekarang. Why this one can expand and that one cannot expand? Because these are angles. <laughs> Okay, these are angles. And this is trigo. Itu beza dia. This is not angle. Yang dalam bracket ini, this is not angle. 
So you may expand. Okay, tapi nak selesaikan yang ini, how do you selesaikan? Let's check on how to selesaikan. Nah, please take note nah. Bila you boleh expand, which one is considered as common factor? Which one is not considered as common factor? So when you expand, you will get 5 second squared x plus 5 second x, okay, minus 2 plus 4 second x equals to 0. You get it rearranged, you will get 5 second squared x plus 9 second x, second x, eh? and then minus 2 equals to 0. Then you factorize. Okay, factorize this one, you will get one mark. So factorize here, it will be 5 second x dengan second x. Then this one will be 4 and this one will, eh, sorry, will be 4. This one will be 1 and 2, number 3, 3, 4, or that line. Okay, this one will be minus, this one will be 10 and 1, so plus. So when you are here, what do you do? This is one mark. Marks are given here, one mark. Satu marka. So it will be second x equals to 1 over 5. What is second? Or second x equals to negative 2. What is second? Second is 1 over cos. 1 over cos x equals to 1 over 5. Therefore, your cos x equals to 5. Remember, just now I told you that your cos x cannot go beyond 1. So when this is after 1, so what do you do? You ignore. Okay, you ignore. Why you ignore? Because it is more than 1. You don't have any angle for cos which is more than 1 unless there is a, a maximum and minimum value there, uh, the amplitude. Okay, then you go on to the right hand side 1 over cos x equals to a negative 2. Uh, don't ignore this one because cos x is the denominator. So cos x equals to negative 1 over 2. Uh, from here, go back to just now our work. So what do you do? You go for your reference angle. Okay, you go for your reference angle. What's your reference angle? Reference angle is 60. But now you have this one as negative you have this one as negative cos in which quadrant that is negative so in quadrant two and in quad as quadrant two and quadrant quadrant two and quadrant three okay quadrant three Wait. quadrant three here and here so this is 60 degree and this is 60 degree okay then how do you see your angle from here to here? What's the angle? 180 take away 60. So your x now will be 120. So the second one, 180 plus 60, you get it as 240. Done. Your answer. See? It's very systematic. Always go back to the same thing here. If you know the flow chart when I'm here, what should I do first? Look for the reference. Sketch your answer will turn up right in immediate. Okay, di depan mata anda, jawapan sudah keluar. Okay, then we go on to this, solve. Okay, if when you are solving this question three, okay, um, there's one question, I can't remember which question maybe. Okay, question three, when you solve this one, okay, I give you the answer. It will be like, uh, this is the identity, get the identity. 2 times 1 minus sine squared x. Okay? Because cos squared x plus sine squared x give you 1. So get the cos squared x as the subject. Plus 3 sine x. Why am I using this instead of the other two? Because here is a sign. I gunakan sebutan yang sama easy for me to do my work then you, when you expand okay then you when you expand this one you tuliskan okay you will get this sine x minus 3 sine x then minus 2 equals to 0 
I rearrange because I nak jadikan dia positif. Okay, why do I rearrange? Some of you, you did not. You remain dia sebagai negative, this one as positive and this one as positive. But unfortunately, when you place your bracket, okay, when you factorize, what, uh, this is the question. How So many times already in our class, we did, okay, remind you, but masih lagi benda yang sama berlaku. Okay, it was something like this. You promised something like this. Okay, so in my marking, I do this one. I circle this one, I circle this one, I cut the darab ini, I circle this one. Okay, that indicate 2 sine x times sine x, I don't get negative 2 sine squared x. Itu maksud dia. Alright, please bear in mind. So in order for me to, uh, supaya tidak membuat sebarang kesilapan, okay, then what do you do? Jadikan your equation, with your A is positive, then you are safe. So this is the warna hijau. Then you are safe. Okay, you save your because marka diberi kat sini dengan alasan I check this one, adakah dia sama dengan ini? I check this one, adakah dia sama dengan ini? Baru you layak dapat marka ini. Then when then you continue. Bila you continue to do your work, is the same. Sign x will be equals to negative 1 over 2, right? And then after that, or you say sine x equals to 2r. What happened here? You ignore. Why ignore? Because more than 1. Uh, then you continue here. See, masih lagi kita patah balik pada benda yang sama. Cuma just now, we were in cos. Now we are in sine. So now, what happened? Go for your reference angle. What's the reference angle? Okay, sudah dapat the reference angle. Sketch. Kodren mana you nak sketch? Sign when sign is negative. Okay, my draw. Okay, when your sign is negative, dia berada dekat sukuan ketiga dan sukuan keempat. Okay? Do you follow me? So, meaning that when you get the reference angle, the reference angle is 30. I don't care about the positive and negative. I just want to get the reference angle of this value. So, it gave me 30 degree. So, then I label kat sini 30 degree, 30 degree. I label kat here. When I label here, then I'm about to check the angle dari X ke sini. 180 plus 30. I get 210. So my answer pun sudah keluar. X will be equals to 210. The next one, from X to here. So my next answer is 330. Siap. Habis. See, very simple. Semua ulang-ulang sahaja. Okay, for question number four. Okay, the answer uh, that you should get should be because answer dia in terms of pi. Okay, we are bounded by this. So the answer should be zero. I'm not going to explain this one because they're sama. Pi and four over three pi. Check your working. Some of you, you punya operasi pun salah. Tulisan betul, tetapi jawapan akhir salah. You really take for granted. Okay, lepas itu, perlu tak saya bincangkan yang ini? You rasa perlu tak saya bincangkan yang ini? Fa, nak bincangkan tak? Macam yang ni macam tak, tak ada apa sangat pun kan? Macam ramai budak betul boleh kan? buat. Ha. Ha, because this one is identity mah, betul? Ha, so kalau dia ganti identity dia nak macam factorize semua dia sama. Cuma hmm. akhir takkan dekat sini lah pi jawapan dia. Guys, when you read the question in exam, please make sure you highlight the keyword. What is wanted, what is given and to the final in what mode dalam jawapan akhir. Jawapan akhir itu mesti berada dalam bentuk apa. So, highlightkan yang that one. Okay, and then uh, this is another question. Question number lima. Uh, represent by this graph. Okay, find the value of x when the straight line, this straight line, this straight line. Okay, touches the function in the domain. Nampak domain. This one is 3602 pi lah. 
Okay, on the domain here. So what can you see here? When y is here, y is 1 over 2. And this is the graph. Graph did not debury. First of all, you need to identify what is the graph. Okay, what is the graph? Okay, now let's check. Can you please respond to me? I want to know who can tell me what, how to check the graph. Anyone can tell me how to check the graph? <clears throat> As I told you just now earlier, <clears throat> first of all, you check on the starting point. Okay, you check on the starting point. The starting point is at zero. Okay, meaning that this is a graph of sine. Okay, sine, okay, let's say it's x, sine x. So you will, you should have this, sine x. There's a, there's a tips behind it, how to start your work. All right. Secondly, then you check when it's bounded by 2f, uh, 2, 2x, 2 pi, when it's bounded by 2 pi, okay, how many cycle? Or you may see, you may check on the maximum, minimum. Okay, when you check on the maximum, minimum, it is 2, then it should be 2. Then you go on to how many cycle? Okay, how many cycle here? How many cycle? Here, one. Okay, I use this one. Okay, one. This is one cycle. Okay, this is one cycle. One cycle. And followed by here, another cycle. So, berapa cycle? Two cycle. So, then you get the graph easily. So, the function fx is represented by 2 sine 2x. Siap, habis. So you give me this one, you dapat satu markah. You give me this one, you get yourself one mark. Okay, you get yourself one mark. Then it says touches. The fx, y is this and y is this. So I'm going to, my fx is equal to y. And my y is equal to 1 over 2. What I do now? I'm going to sub 2 sine 2x with 1 over 2. I'm going to sub my fx with 1 over 2. So then I will continue by doing my work. Sine 2x is a, is a term. We cannot break it. But anyhow, we can operate this number first. This is a number two times. Okay, so then when it's two times, Okay, you operate onto the right, it will be 1 over 4. Ah, when you are here, what are we doing? Again, back to the same thing. So what do you do? You look for your reference angle. Okay, what is the reference angle? Get your calculator very fast. Shift, sign. Okay, shift, sign. 1 over 4. You will get it as 14.4. 7, 4, 8 degree. 14.48 degree. Okay, then once you get the reference angle quickly, you draw the quadrant and check on this sign. Positive. Which quadrant? Quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. This is represented by 14.48 degree and this is represented by 14.48 degree. Okay, done. All right. But now you need to tell me what is the value of x. And here you have two cycles. So meaning that your x will be my 2x. My 2x will be 14.48 for my first value, which is this. My second value is from here to here, meaning that is 180. Take away 14.48. 118, 180, take away 14.48, you get it as 165, 165.52 degree. Then because of 2, because it is of 2 here, you need to continue to add this one with 360 and add this one with 360. So when you add this one with 360, you will get it as 374. Uh, 0.48 the second cycle and then this one you get it as 525.52 degree so with this one when you show this one you will get this 
with the four answer correct one mark. Then finally, you go for your X divided by two for every single term, you will get this answer correct. One answer, two, three, four correctly. Do you get me? Guys, okay, Nat? Okay, teacher. Okay, good. So please do your work for this one. Uh, I have explained the working for set 9 and set 10 with you. Do hope that you do your correction. And remember, bear in mind, when the first day you get back to school, when school reopen, if there's no more lockdown in January, the first day itself is your trial. Okay, so get ready your mindset, everything. Right, study mode must be in you always. So I finished the discussion of this paper. Any question they want to ask regarding set 9 and set 10? You may on your mic now and you may ask question. Anyone that uh, during the marking that uh, you thought, eh, why it is like that? My, my, my working is correct. Why teacher give me wrong? Okay. Do you have anything that you want to you want to ask? Nothing. No teacher. Oh, Imtias. No, yang lain macam mana? Imtias saja yang jawab, yang yang lain tak jawab. Elisa, ada tak? Clear. Okay, Chen Hui. Send your text box, tanpa beritahu cikgu sama ada you clear atau faham ke tak faham. No point macam cikgu bercakap dengan screen. You know, you know macam bila online class ini, teacher is talking to the screen. Okay, clear. So please make sure that you do your uh, revision because soalan yang cikgu bagi when we prompt the question to you is all the basic. And these basic are very important for you to answer the second stage question. No point that we give you the uh, soalan panjang-panjang where else the basic is not good. Your basic is not good. Uh, Vinesh, just now you take note, right? That I told you the formula. If you got problem, please PM me because you miss uh, lots of class because of your this one. So please take care of your health, right? So, uh, kalau tidak ada sebarang... Okay, hari ini tepat masa I, 10.27. <laughs> Okay, that is what I rancang untuk paper set 9 and set 10. Hari ini, uh, tapi cikgu tak sempat nak masuk kita punya, wait, let me go for you for one question. Ada 3 minit lagi eh. 3 more minutes, I want to go into this one. Tak sempat cikgu nak masuk probability. Just to tell you one question of this one lah. Probability of this one. Okay, now. Uh, uh, tak apa. Since uh, it's already 10, 10, 30, you are the class lepas ini. For this probability, I'm not going to guide you because memang tak sempat. So what you do is, Puan Hafiza will prompt you the question to you. Let me mark, uh, let me, let you turn in your paper. Let me mark your paper and see what you need. Okay, what should I do to clear yourself from this topic? Right? Because now it's already 8.28, uh, 10.28. Kalau I teruskan lagi, I will take the second slot punya masa. Right, Cikgu Hafiza, do you have anything to say? Don't forget your attendance. Uh, tak ada. Uh, cuma saya dah baru je post uh, latihan untuk set 11. Uh, tadi Puan Gan dah tunjuk kalau perasan, Puan Gan tunjuk uh, binomial kan? Uh, kalau nampak uh. graf itu, graf palang tegak tu binomial. So, maksudnya tugasan awak selepas ini adalah taburan binomial lah. Okay, okay so apalah. tambah menjawab, nanti turn in uh, jawab macam biasa. Uh, so, uh, guys, please bear in mind when you turn in your paper that time, kalau boleh use the, uh, 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 kalau boleh jadikan dia PDF be, be, uh, so that cikgu buka sekali semua jawapan dalam file itu. Because the line is very lagging. Okay, I have to wait for some time to upload satu and then download satu lagi. Uh, you can use your cam, cam, uh, cam scanner. You boleh jadikan dia PDF. Uh, thank you to those who have made my work uh, or, and teachers work lah. Puan Hafiza, Puan used to mark uh, during marking time that you save our time. You are saving our time. 
And please make sure your writing, or one more thing I want to uh, let you know. Some of you do use pencil till now. Please practice by using pen. Can you do that? And paper, your paper, please, uh, jalan kerja itu jangan ke sini, ke sana. It's one line going down. So, di sebelah kiri, uh, sebelah kanan, kosongkan dia for me to jot something. Some of you, you nak jimat paper. Kiri ada working, kanan soalan la, jawapan untuk soalan lain. Okay, please uh, arrange your working in a proper manner during this period, right? So, uh, kalau tak ada sebarang uh, soalan, so I would like to stop my slot now lah. Okay, I will, uh, okay, I stop right